at a fruit store. We're going to look at that. I know it was rejected recently for left turn, but we're going to look at it again and see what we can do. Basically looking in to see uh, some signal timing changes. We're going to um, watch it. We're going to monitor it and see how it goes. Pedestrian islands might disappear? Uh, absolutely. Uh, meeting with the Commissioner of Transportation, Commissioner Sadiq Khan, uh, a week and a half ago. Uh, it was a great meeting. Uh, we sat and we discussed the issues here, and I think the Department of Transportation understands that this might have been a big mistake. And the issue from the very, very beginning was, this was the issue, the fact that ambulances who are rushing to Maimonides only a few blocks away, that they were getting stuck in traffic. Uh, uh, just a short while ago, an ambulance was coming from Midwood, Midwood Ambulance, got stuck right over here. I had to go into the street to get the ambulance out of traffic to be able to get to Maimonides. And we had a situation where Hatsala, other ambulance companies, were, were not even coming down Fort Hamilton. They were going all the way around. God forbid, if a person is in cardiac arrest, every moment counts. The difference of 30 seconds of getting to the emergency room over a few blocks away is the difference between life and death. So I want to applaud the Commissioner of Transportation. Uh, it takes a lot of guts and it takes a great person to be able to say, you know what? We need to look at this, uh, maybe we can do it differently, and we are going to do it differently. So I am looking forward to the very near future, uh, very soon, uh, that these are actually going to be removed for the safety of the community. We had also pointed out to the Department of Transportation that compared to other parts of Fort Hamilton Parkway, this was probably one of the safest areas. We have the statistics from the Department of Transportation that down at 60th Street, there were 300% more accidents than here. And the question was always, why here? And we never got an answer for that, and the truth is, there is no answer. I want to also thank uh, uh, Hamodia, which did an amazing job keeping this issue alive from the very, very beginning. And uh, you yourself, turn around the camera at yourself, <laughs> Uh, you kept the issue alive, and uh, Rabbi Handler was amazing, Chaim Israel, and the community. There's no question about it that without the involvement of people coming out here, standing on corners, by the way, in the middle of the winter, in pouring rain, we stood here, we collected thousands of petitions, the store owners, whether it's Meal Mart or, the, or Coffs Bakery, all the store owners, their business was being destroyed. Spots were taken away on every single corner. There are two less spots to park. As it is, it is very difficult to park. So this is really a great moment and a fantastic message for everyone. It's a lesson for everybody that if you believe you are right, if you think you have justice on your side, it doesn't make a difference what you're told by the higher-ups. You fight for it, you stand up, you don't give up, you don't give in, and with Hashem's help, you're Matzliach. And that is exactly what happened over here. This never made sense. I saw it from the very beginning, and I told my staff, we will win with Hashem's help. Most people said to me, I have to tell you, said to me, you're wasting your time. Good story, we appreciate your trying, but I think most people never thought. I mean, these things cost a couple of hundred thousand dollars. A couple hundred thousand dollars. They just planted trees two weeks ago. When people called me and they said they're planting trees, I said, don't worry, the trees are going as well. So, uh, you know, it's just a great Where would you great like moment. to see the pedestrian islands go? They're going to take it, where do you want it shipped to? Uh, they can send it anywhere they want. They can send it overseas. They can send it somewhere where it's needed more than it's uh, needed here. Brooklyn what Bridge I would like Marsh, to see, maybe? by the way, for all the people in this community, for seniors, I told this to the commissioner, is a, a digital clock. So when people cross the street, they know 15 seconds, 14 seconds. It makes a lot more sense. I used to talk about the islands. People thought I was going to an island. Which island? You know, visit the islands, you know? We had islands in Bar Park, but you know what? If I want to go to an island, I know exactly where to go. Very good. I guess the, our public leaders do a great it's job. Nothing, we're not looking to pay anybody back or against anybody. It's just I think they did a very stupid move over here. 
and so that uh, we'll have more parking and everything. And you would like to give credit where credit is due now that they fixed the mistake? You would, you, sure. you, uh, I think we'll all tell them a big thank you. I hope to see them gone pretty soon, then I'll feel a lot very better. Very good. I'm very happy that they're taking care of it. It's, uh, it's, I mean,